Hi, welcome again to our new session of the Agile Center, or we can see that the rally. Today's session, I will show you how to create a logger defect inside a specific project in Agile Center. So, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with trees agenda. Then we'll see practically how to create a defect inside any project so if you have watched my previous session i have already created one project where the name of the project is assigned on given demo project where we have created some user story and inside the user story will create here a defect so if you don't know about the user story Please watch my previous session. I will also include URL in my description tab. So, for creating a defect, we have to click on this. And post clicking on this, you are able to see this options are available. You just click on add. So, if you want to go ahead and create the complete detail, so click on create with detail. And once you create on detail, you have to enter the title name so which is mandatory for creating any specific defect so just taking example of any e-commerce website where we want to add the product in cart but the why adding the product in cart we are getting some issue so unable to unable to add the product in cart so this is an error message we are getting so or we are not able to add any specific project inside the cart because of that i mentioned here unable to add product in cart so title of any defect should be short and sweet but describe the actual issue of or actual defect inside the description tab you have to enter the complete steps so i'm not going to cover what all will include here but major point i will describe here steps to reproduce is the first contain so you you should describe each and every steps in detail before that, you can also include preconditions. So, if there is any precondition, you can include here steps to reproducing include here actual. So, what is actual defects you are getting or actual issue you are getting and what would be your expected. So, these four parameters we are following you can also include any additional information if you have at the end you can include the note describe these five things in detail so that the one the person who is not visited or who have visited first time and seen this defect first time they're clearly able to understand it then if you have any attachment, you can include like a screenshot or video if you have, you can include it. Owner, you can assign the owner. So right now, only myself is available in this login credential because of that I assigned here. Otherwise, you can assign to the product owner or the developer who has developed this functionality. State, you can change it to open or uh, assign or something like that. You can keep it. User story, it's already assigned. You can provide the environment in which environment you have tested, staging, production, or a UAT, something like that. Severity and priority is very much important part. So it's a major problem because unable to add the card. So high severity and priority we are keeping here. The found and build. So which in which build you have found it, this defect. You should mention it here then these are the all fields which we are while reporting the defect which needs to be added 
once done simply click on this and your defect will be created with defect id this defect id is a unique id for every defect post that when you are working in agile if anyone wants to fix this defect they will create a task on development perspective then retesting perspective and if there are two teams who is testing this uh, like QA and UAT they will also include separate tasks inside this so this is how we can create a defect inside the agile center so that's all creating the defect but if this defect is fixed and you want to test it you can add your comments inside the description tab so if you are testing it once it is fixed so if it is fixed it can include the fixed version or the detail of fixed or if it is not fixed you can reopen it and mention inside the comment revision history whoever is updating this defect you will find out the detail here like this way we can create once it is fixed or you want to close it click on close and save the changes this defect will be closed permanently this is how we are creating a defect inside the Agile Center or Rally. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.